Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Megan Fox. And it's time for Fox Bites. We're looking at the news again and I'm on townhall.com and I'm looking at an article by Guy Benson. It appears that some Ron DeSantis debate tapes have been leaked. And this is supposed to make people very angry. Let's get into it. Someone leaked Ron DeSantis's 2018 debate prep footage and it's backfiring. So we've not seen this before. It's kind of interesting to get a behind the scenes. What is it like when candidates are prepping for a debate? And I think that this is going to backfire on them. Let's watch the footage and see. Has the NRA donated to me? I, I don't think the NRA is quite the boogeyman the Democrats think it is. Do we hit him on guns or just everyone who cares about every, guns is gonna vote for me? Is there any issue upon which you disagree with President Trump? Obviously, there is because I've, I've been. <laughs> that was funny. And also, yes, does anybody who cares about guns, they're all going to vote for him anyway. Anyone who cares about guns is pointless for Republicans to talk about guns. All Republicans believe in the Second Amendment. Move on. Uh, but are, is there anything that you don't agree with Donald Trump on? I love that response. <sighs> I voted contrary to him in the cop. I have to frame it in a way. It's not going to piss off all his voters. And so what I do is I do what I think is right. I support um, his agenda in terms of what he's been able to do. If I have a disagreement, I talk to him in private. I think when you walk what do you mean you talk to him in private? You mean like an adult? Oh, instead of, I don't know, insulting him publicly at every chance you get? That's the best thing to do, Ron. I agree. Um, I guess they think these videos look bad for him whoever leaked them. But so far, I just see more of what I like about Ron DeSantis, which is he's reasonable. Uh, he's intelligent. He doesn't go after friends. No friendly fire. So far, I'm liking it. Up there, if you have a pad, you have to write in all caps at the top of the pad, likable. And then look, I, I do the same thing because I have the same personality. We're both aggressive. That's it? That's it. <laughs> I guess that's it. Uh, so I guess this is supposed to make us angry. Who is going to object to any of that, says Guy Benson. Even the part where he grapples with how to handle Trump-related disagreements are entirely respectful and reasonable. The accompanying news story focuses on a dumb, years-old controversy in which DeSantis was accused by leftists of using racist dog whistles for suggesting that his opponent, a Black Democrat who has ended up with all sorts of problems after narrowly losing to DeSantis, would monkey up Florida's success with socialist policies. The bulk of the article deals with this comment and its fallout. Frankly, I don't even remember all of any of that controversy. Um, but what I think is really unfortunate about this is that whoever released this was obviously on the Republican side. And this was is going to be someone who wants Donald Trump uh, to win 2024. And so they think the best way to do that is to make Ron DeSantis look bad somehow. And I really want to encourage Republicans, no matter which candidate you support in 2024. Don't let this kind of stuff get between us. Uh, friendly fire is not cool. And we should just support whoever the nominee is. And I don't like the war that's being set up between Trump supporters and DeSantis supporters. You know what, guys? At the end of the day, we all want the same thing. Less government, less woke policies, safer schools for our kids, and less of this far left takeover of our country. So can we please stop the infighting? Whether it's Trump or DeSantis, it's going to be fine. Better than what we have now.